Hi, Dustin Weinkoff here, product specialist with Agland in Lloydminster. Today we're going to go through our model year 20 R-Series sprayer product support video. So on our hydro handle here, we'll go through our buttons. So starting here, we have our center rack up and down. This is, is also going to be used for our fold and unfold in conjunction with our foot pedal on the floor. Boom tip left and right, up and down. We have our master spray switch here. So when it's on, we'll see a yellow button light up there. Up top here we have our boom indexing left and right. So this is where we can shut our boom sections off from the left or right from outward working inward. By touching this here, we'll turn all of our sections back on. Here we have our transmission, our speed selection. So as we go up or down with this, this will change our target fuel crew speed up on the corner post here. And with our hydro handle all the way forward, well, a cruise icon will illuminate here and we'll be in cruise control. Top of our hydro handle here, we have a left and right for foam markers if you have installed. And on the side over here, we have a button one and two for our auto track resume and boom track resume. Mm -hmm. So looking down on our command arm here, um, right here we have our solution pump on and off. So as we hit this, we'll see the orange light come on, as well as we'll see it over on our corner post. We have our agitation on and off here. We will see it on the display as well as we will see it lit up on the corner post there. Boom tip left and right. Have our throttle speeds here, so idle all the way down, max here, and we can set in between. Our hydraulic tread adjust in and out. Um, so we can adjust our treads in and out as long as we're moving over a half a mile an hour and under five miles an hour. We have our diff lock here, our road transport switch here, um, so we can hit this while we're transporting down the road and it will lock out all hydraulic functions. Ladder up and down and our park brake. Looking right here, this is our rate control knob. Um, so first position up top here, this is pressure based spraying and then we have target rate one, two, and three there. Over on the side here, this is where we have our boom sections here. So with all the lights on, that means all of our sections are enabled. So at any time we can shut any section off and to enable them all to come back on, we hit this here. One thing to note is if you can't spray, you're unable to spray, nothing's coming out, make sure that all these lights are enabled here. And we have our HVAC control here our programmable buttons for one and two for our lights, boom lights, beacons, four-way flashers. So here we're going to go through our sprayer page navigation. So on our sprayer homepage here, starting at the top, we have drop-down menus here where we can select numerous different things to view. Next, moving down, we see our target rate one, two, and three. These can be selected and changed by the dial down below that we talked about earlier. If you need to change any of these rates, you can touch on them, enter in your new desired rate, and it will now be there. Here, all of our sections, our Boom Track Pro and our Boom Height Control, each height as we're running through the field. Moving over to the right hand side, soft key buttons, anything with an up arrow is set up. And our setup here, we can see alarms, our flow rate alarm, section off alarm, and low tank alarm. Here we can enter in any volume we would like our low tank alarm to go off at. Next, under our tank system, here we can see our live tank level, how many gallons are in our tank based off our level gauge, as well as we can manually tell it how many gallons are in the sprayer. To go back to a live reading, we click on this. Here we have a nozzle calculator, agitation, agitation level 1, 2, and 3. 
wherever we have this selected it will display up on your corner post as well as outside on your solution system display. Eductor if equipped, level 1, 2, and 3. Target fill here, this is where we can enter a desired volume in the cab, hit start, and the sprayer solution pump will load the sprayer to that volume. Below our boom pressure relief, we want to make sure that is checked off and that boom charge is set to auto. Here, as we talked about earlier, if we have a high flow sprayer with a dual flow meter, if we have it in the open or closed position, we need to tell the display here, as well as our orifice valve, either in the open or closed position. Our spray system in max should be set to three. Our minimum spray pressure and spray off pressure are here. Next, under Auto Prime, this here will prime our booms with fresh solution after a tank rinse to make sure that we have product to the end of our booms. By hitting start, it will start spraying solution out across the whole boom and then shutting sections off from the inside working outward, making sure that there is no air. Here, in our sprayer rinse system, we have our boom and solution system rinse. These rinses are all automated. Number of rinses here, our volume setting low, medium, or high. If we select low, we can do three low volume rinses with one rinse tank of water. To hit start, everything is automated, and as it is rinsing the solution tank, we can hit next and move to the next step to rinse our booms. For rinsing our booms, we must activate our solution pump, hit our master spray switch and make sure our section control is off to spray the solution out, and when the tank is empty, the system will shut down. Here, under boom height control, we can see that our boom track is enabled. If we want center frame control, on and off. Our sensor mode, ground or canopy, our raise lower response. We always want to make sure that our raise response is higher than our lower response. This will allow our booms to react quickly and come up over obstacles, but set down smoothly without being jarry. Here we can see our running target heights and to make sure that everything is functioning. Next we have our boom air purge. With our booms fully unfolded, we can hit enable boom air purge and hit start. This will blow our booms out for 120 seconds. Make sure that there is no solution or water in our booms before we do a rinse cycle. <laughs> here under calibrations, our sprayer calibrations here, if we need to change flow meters, pump calibration, boom calibrations, any vehicle calibrations. Under our totals here, we can see our current. We can have job summaries for different job numbers. And then our sprayer lifetime. Total acres, hours, volumes, etc. Next, we are going to set up our documentation for spraying. We want to go to our main menu, GS3, and then document. Here, we will have two tabs. One tab will be for our sprayer, the other should say new. If we have any other tabs, we must click on it and hit remove operation. In here, we can select tank mix, give it a tank mix name, add our carrier, which will be water. Your solution, base solution rate will come from your rate selected in your spray system. Here, we can add a product. Product name, if you don't see your, your product in the list, you can send it from the operation center file or manually enter it. Your rate of your chemical being applied, in a 2630 we recommend that you go to quartz per acre as that is the closest to liters per acre. Now we have our tank mix set up.